This is Willem Ziada, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed actor, singer, dancer, the one and only Madeline Corliss. But before we get to our interview, here's a sneak peek at Madeline's incredible talent. so much better now that I'm speaking with you and I you have a special guest with you I do he's just popping his own little head up this is Flynn this is my cat I love <laughs> Flynn and I just love like comedically like just the ear yeah he knows he knows zoom very well he likes to uh he's a Leo and he likes to get right in the camera and smile and be like he needs to be seen and heard God bless America he does listen Madeline you are such an incredible talent let's just call a spade a spade um I knew of you when you were doing the search for Roxy on Broadway.com, but you have such an immense talent that obviously the audience just got a little sneak peek with, but just even talking with you off camera, you have such a great vibe about you. And my first question, first and foremost, is where were you born, Madeline? And when did you realize that you had such a love of theater, especially musical theater? Yeah, um, I was born in Massachusetts and I was very fortunate to grow up in a town that had a ton of theater opportunities. Um, and where, where, where in Mass? Um, I grew up in Andover. So like uh, like Justin Colombo grew up there. I don't know if you know, he's been in Kinky Boots and um, Catherine Charlebois. Like we all grew up in the same, they were the years above me. So that's what I was watching as a kid. Those are the people that I was like, I wanna be like them. Um, what a gift. And so I started, well, I was always a very active child. I had a lot of physical energy. And I remember so clearly seeing a summer production of Footloose and watching uh, someone do a backflip during Mama Says and being like, that's what I wanna do. That's, that's all I wanna do in my life. And my uh, my mom said that I sat cross-legged in the seat cause I can't, I'm cross-legged right now. I can't sit like a normal person. Um, and she said, my eyes didn't close the entire show. They were just like fully open. And uh, from there, I auditioned for my first like school musical in fourth grade. And I just never stopped. Like I went, I was in every community theater production. I was in all the school productions. I went to high school for performing arts. I went to college for it. And then here we are in New York. Love it. I love it, Madeline. Um, I, again, I just can't get over the fact that, you know, it's so rare in this business, unfortunately, that you meet someone so talented, but who also is so kind and filled with gratitude. And I just feel that from you. I'm curious, you know, where does that sense of gratitude come from? Is it, is it just having done work on yourself? Is it how you were brought up? Um, I think it's a, a little bit of everything. Um, I, well, I now I have to think about this. I definitely was brought up to be very um, just aware of the wonderful things that I had in my life or have still. Um, and I'm, I think the more that I have been in New York, the more I've realized just how fortunate I have really been in a lot of ways. And then also, um, I'm a big fan of leaning into when we're going through a hard time. I think hard times when we try and push it away and just like get out of it as quickly as possible, we miss a lot of learning opportunities. Um, and so I hit a really big transition when I was like 24 ish, where I was very unhappy in the city. I was very burnt out. I, uh, I wasn't really booking shows anymore. And I'd gone from graduating and booking nonstop to like 
radio silence. I got really sick. Um, and it was really a, I believe at least that it was a call from the universe to like deal with my own shit and to come back into myself instead of just tunnel visioning about theater because from fourth grade on, everything was about theater for me. Um, so it really forced me to start looking at my own ways of being and my own anxiety and my own perfectionistic tendencies and all of my own baggage. And that became like a second love for me and just seeing how drastically my life has changed in doing that work. Um, it, I, I frequently tell people I was really worried that taking time away from theater to care for myself in a very deep way would detract from my career and it's done the exact opposite. It has just filled it in so many wonderful ways. And now I help, um, I'm a life coach and energy healer on the side. And so I help other people go through that transition of dealing with their own baggage so they can have success in their careers and feel really fulfilled and good in this art form. Because I think at a certain point, we go from loving it as a child to it becoming work and it becoming difficult. And why do something if it's not mm. bringing joy? So Madeline, I love the fact that you took a moment of dis-ease that caused disease to take a step back to move forward on this path of least resistance where you were able to reacquaint most likely with the younger Madeline who was in fourth grade and just couldn't not keep her eyes, you know, could it not keep your eyes closed? Basically that you just kept your eyes open to the love and the bliss of theater. And that that, that, and that that was reactivated in the pause, but that also now you have this incredible business with the energy studio where you get to pay it forward with another talent that you have. I just think that's unbelievable, unbelievable. And I also, can I like drop in a little something that I'm incredibly proud of? Do it, you can so, do whatever you want. I have this course called Unblock Your Creative Career um, because I wanted a way to help more people in a group setting because I think, especially in the theater industry, we thrive in groups. We love working together and community is so important in that. So I have this course, I've done three rounds of it and we're doing the fourth round in January and we just got a grant, which is allowing us to offer three scholarships for members of the LGBTQ plus and BIPOC community. And I'm so happy about it. And I just announced it today. So look at that. Madeline, congratulations. That is so effing incredible. And if there's anything that we learned during this pandemic, but it seems like it seems like what a lot of artists, especially artists, discovered during the pandemic, you almost did that work pre-pandemic. Like you almost took that pause for yourself beforehand. So I just think it's so amazing that you're now able to, in addition to being an incredible performer that you're able to share your gifts, this other gift with others. It's, it's, it's inspirational. Thank you. Yes. Final question for you, Madeline. I could speak with you all day, but we'll talk offline. We're connected now. Sorry, yes. not sorry. Um, before I ask my final question, I wanna let everyone know for more on the amazing Madeline Corliss, you can read more about her right below this video. Madeline, if you could give advice to that younger Madeline, what would it be? Oh gosh. Um, I always have mixed feelings about this question because I am very grateful for the experiences that I've had, even the bad ones, because they've shaped so much of who I am. Um, but if I had advice for her, I would say uh, the theater industry is going to change and you don't have to wear a a jewel tone dress and you don't have to fit that perfect look it's going to serve you better to lean into who you want to be and what feels authentic to you so that's that's what i wish i'd known a little a little sooner five thousand percent you are incredible i cannot wait to work with you you're such an incredible authentic fierce ferocious kind unapologetic talent madeline and um yeah, I'm so grateful to be speaking with you. So excited that you're coming on board this amazing new app. It's gonna allow you to connect with artists all over the world and collaborators all over the world. But uh, selfishly, I'm just so excited that we're connected now. Yes, me too.